This is Marcus Korva with Studio MMA and MMA Net, and we're here with the 135 champ, Dominic, the Dominator Cruz. How are you feeling today? I feel awesome tonight. This is a good time. Um, you uh, are nominated uh, and uh, as, as Fighter of the Year, and uh, is there anyone else you'd like to see on the stage, obviously except from yourself up there? On the stage, yeah. I'd like to see my boy Phil Mr. Wonderful and everybody who's nominated for the seven things we got going for Alliance MMA. I'd like to see everybody up there from my team. Uh, you obviously represent an Alliance and we just had Alex Gustus on here with his coach as well and they said the theme tonight for Alliance was black and a purple tie. What's going on? I don't see no purple on you. Um, well, you're a little mistaken. This is partially purple depending oh, on the light oh. and uh, maybe not a purple tie but I got the burgundy look going. Definitely looking uh, proper tonight. Uh, what you got, you're at Faber next again for the third time. Uh, last time was for, for, the, for the title, the, the first one wasn't. Uh, you first one was for a title, it was at 145. I've fought him for nothing but titles and I'm going to beat him again. Sorry, my bad, for the WC versus now it's the UFC obviously. Uh, you said before your last fight that you had evolved tremendously and you showed it in the cage. Uriah just came off a, a great win versus Brown. Uh, were you there at the fight? Uh, he fought Brian Bowles and I was uh, not at the fight. I was um, at home watching it on TV because personally in a fight like that I like to sit back and watch the fight on TV. I can hear all the commentary, I can watch things in slow-mo, I can watch the replays. I don't have to deal with anybody, I don't have to deal with anything except watching the fight, studying and seeing how he composes himself. It was an awesome fight. He went out there and did exactly what he needed to do. And, um, you know, he showed that he was the number one contender. And I'm excited to fight the best Uriah that, that, that uh, is to come because that's who I want to fight. I want to fight the best guys in the world. I don't want to fight the guys that might be good. And uh, that's what Uriah proved in that fight. Absolutely. He came out, stopped the, uh, Brian Bowles in the first round. Uh, you've been in there with Bowles as well. Did you see that coming? Did you think that Uriah was going to win that fight and in the, in the fashion that he did? I wasn't sure if he was going to beat him in the first round by, knock, uh, by, by rocking him the way that he did. But I knew he was capable of it. I fought him, obviously, twice. Um, but I don't stand there, and I'm not going to eat an uppercut in the grill to get submitted either. So fight whoever you want, you know. They're not me. Um, away from the fighting, tonight is about partying, sh showcasing mixed martial arts. Um, you got some great names up there. You obviously champion yourself. Uh, wh when you started mixed martial arts, did you foresee all this? The red carpet, the, the cameras, the light? When I started mixed martial arts, this is the last thing I pictured, to be honest. Um, I, all I could do was hope when I started mixed martial arts because, you know, I was making negative money to fight in the beginning of my career. So all I could do was hope, pray, and uh, leave it in God's hands. And God has done nothing but bless me. And now look at where I'm at. Thank you, God. Looking great. Thank you very much, Dominic. Looking forward to seeing you again in the cage. Thank you, sir. Thank you.